Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to do a super quick video, an update on my Invisalign journey and a quick Q&A as to everything Invisalign. I've been receiving so many questions on my last videos that I thought instead of trying to reply to absolutely everyone, which I've tried to do, I'll also put them into a video so that other people can benefit from it too. You'll have to excuse me, um, I have the fan on today because it's so hot and I don't have aircon here and it's really muggy like there's a big storm brewing so it's really humid so you have to excuse the background noise which is the fan otherwise I would turn into an absolute puddle talking to you guys so I do always leave my Invisalign in when I am doing an Invisalign video because then you can get an idea of how much I lisp or how much you'll lisp if you put when you have your trays in now you have to understand that I have a fairly, I put this tray in two days ago, so you tend to lisp a little bit more when you first put the tray in and your mouth's getting used to a new tray. Quick update from when I last spoke to you guys about Invisalign. I had gone to see my orthodontist and I had had the Invisalign and attachments finished. Attachments were taken off and my Invisalign was over for the time being. Me and my orthodontist did agree that I could maybe do a little bit more refinement work. So we did some more impressions where at my orthodontist, at Golota Orthodontics in, in Southport on the Gold Coast, they used like the clay kind of mushy, clay kind of mushy. It's a weird substance they put on your teeth to make like, yeah, it's almost like Play-Doh that they put on your teeth and it sets hard and that's how they get the impressions of your teeth. Whereas some orthodontists use a scanner where they kind of laser your teeth and do like a computer graphic scan. So we did that, which isn't great because you've got to have stuff stuck up your mouth and like this hard Play-Doh substance, which has to sit there for a while for it to set. So we did that and I kept on with my last retainer, wearing it every night so my teeth wouldn't go into too much of a different shape or move back to the way they were so they consistently stay the same. And then when my Invisalign trays were ready, I went back up and visited them and I totally expected to have more attachments put on for these Invisalign. Uh, thankfully, because if you've watched my last videos, you'll know how much I hated the attachments experience. So the good news was I didn't have to get any more attachments. So I was stoked. It was literally in and out, get the new trays, which I think I've got about 10 this time. And of course, I'm still using the V Pro 5. So this here is the V Pro 5. I did actually do a quick video on the V Pro 5. On the V Pro 5, I will leave a link to that video here or wherever it will turn up. Um, so you guys can get a full rundown on how the V Pro 5 actually works and if it works, which it does because it's been working for me. So as I said, I got about 10 to 12 trays, I think, off my orthodontist this time. And I have been using my V Pro 5, so I'm changing the tray pretty much once a week. So every seven days, I'll change it to a new tray. Honestly, I'm feeling like I could probably change it faster with the V Pro 5, but I'm not. I'm just kind of, you know, th there's no point in rushing it. Um, I'm pretty much done. I'm pretty happy with my teeth. There's still a few more things I would like to change. Like, I'll just... If you see here, it still goes in the tiniest bit. There's a tiniest bit of crowding at the front and I've always had issues with my two front teeth. They set, tend to stick out a little bit. I know it's absolutely nothing, but for me, it's just what I want to fix. And that's hence one of the main reasons that I did get Invisalign. But I have to admit, I have seen my teeth change so much since doing Invisalign. Every time I'm in my orthodontist, they always show me what my teeth were like at the start and I sort of forget because I'm looking at my face every day. I can see the changes happening slowly, but not compared to when you look back and look at how different your teeth actually were. So I can see that they're widening more around here and widening around the back so that when I smile, you can still see the teeth moving around, whereas before it looked kind of hollow and the teeth would move in, if you kind of know what I mean. So all in all, it's all working out really well. I have to go back to the orthodontist in about a week, week and a half, and we'll see how I go from there. So guys, like I said, quick update on my Invisalign journey. 
10, new, 10 to 12 new trays, no attachments. I'm wearing them for a week each and still using the Vipro 5, of course. But now I'll answer your questions. So hopefully that helps some of you guys watching. Do you have to get retainers for the rest of your life after you have finished all your trays? Yes, my orthodontist advised that I wear retainers every single night pretty much for the rest of my life. I'm pretty sure this is actually advised if you get traditional braces as well. I just think a lot of people don't maintain that. Uh, I am also, like with traditional braces, will be getting a metal bar put behind the bottom front teeth and the top front teeth. I'll have to reconfirm that with you, but just like traditional braces. And that's to hold the front teeth in the places where they wanted to move them. Are you required to floss after every time you eat? No, I don't think so. I wasn't advised of this, but I was actually advised to brush as much as possible after eating. And if you can't brush, you're not in a position to do so, definitely swish your mouth out with water and spit it out to get all the food off the teeth before you put the retainers back on. I suppose this is just stopping tooth decay and so the, t the food doesn't get trapped in the teeth while the retainers sit on top of them because that's just yucky and really unhygienic and bad for your teeth. Did your orthodontist show you a computer analysis diagram of before and after Invisalign? Yes. And like I said before, most of this, pretty much every time I go in to see my orthodontist and get a checkup and get new attachments and new retainers, filing, blah, blah, blah. They will then show me where my teeth were and how far I've come. So not only will they show me the photo they took at the start, which I will try and get for you guys and put in my next video, which will probably be one of my last Invisalign videos, but it will show you guys what my teeth were like and what they're like now. So you get a whole idea of where, how far I've come. So, but they also show me from the start what Invisalign comes up with their, I suppose, analysis or estimate of what they think the teeth will do and how they'll move. So I'm pretty sure most orthodontists and dentists whoever you're getting your Invisalign through will do that for you because I think that's an Invisalign strategy. How much does the Vipro 5 cost compared to Excelident? From what I know, because I've never used Excelident, Excelident is normally 1,200 to 1,500 Australian. Now I was gifted the Vipro 5 because I've been doing these videos on Invisalign, but I wasn't paid to talk about Vipro 5 at all. So everything you hear is my opinion. But the Vipro 5 is $995 plus GST. And again, that's in Australian dollars. Is Invisalign very obvious in photos? No. I don't think so. The only time I think that it could be obvious is if you have had a lot of attachments and the photo is close up. Otherwise, I think it's like, like you can see right now, if you didn't hear me talking and you just saw me smiling, I, I don't think you could really tell at all. But just remember, if it's an important photo, you can always take the Invisalign out and that's the beauty of it. The only issue is if the attachments are in obvious places when you're smiling, like on the edges of your teeth and they stick out. After you put your trays in your mouth, do you have problems with pronunciation? Yes, as you can probably tell right now. I, like I said before, when you put new trays in, you always list more. You obviously always have a little bit more trouble with pronunciation because something foreign is in the mouth. The mouth produces more saliva. It's trying to get rid of whatever's in the mouth because it thinks it's not supposed to be there. And also because your tongue is touching on the back of the trays. It's something you just kind of have to live with. And I think it's pretty reasonable if you want a great smile. Do you have to pay for an orthodontist visit every time you visit for a checkup? No. Uh, in my, the package that I've paid for with my orthodontist, I do not have to do that. Everything I've paid for is included, even the refinements at the end of the Invisalign process, including all like consultations, visits, um, even phone calls or questions throughout my journey. I had a couple of consultations with different, different orthodontists before I started this Invisalign with this orthodontist, who's a Galotas at Southport, um, on the Gold Coast. And all other orthodontists that I spoke to as well did say that, that the whole price includes all visits. And I'm pretty sure that's mandatory throughout the whole Invisalign process or traditional braces process. Did you get anesthetic when having the filing done on your teeth? No, it's not that kind of pain and it's not that serious. I know I whinged about it a lot in probably one of my first Invisalign videos because the only reason I did was because I didn't have the warning that I think maybe a lot of other people get. It was pretty uncomfortable and I had to do a fair bit because I have a bit of crowding. It's just like, you know, when people run their fingers down a chalkboard and it's just such an unbearable sound. It's like that, but a feeling times 10. It's just 
ugh, I get cringe just thinking about it. But no, you definitely don't need anesthetic. It's not that serious. Could you please write down the pros and cons of Invisalign? I think you guys, if you've watched my videos, have seen that the cons, like I said, have been the filing and getting the attachments on. First, having the attachments on because it cuts the edges of your mouth when you're trying to eat before the, if, you, if you haven't filed them down or your mouth hasn't got used to them. The filing in between the teeth is, like I said, cringeworthy but bearable. That's the hardest part. That and the fact you've got plastic on your teeth 22 hours a day. But for me, Invisalign is such a great technology because if you need to take them out, you can take them out. You don't, doesn't, you don't, I haven't had traditional braces, but from what I've heard, they can be pretty painful. It's hard to brush your teeth. You get food stuck in them. You can always see them. Whereas with Invisalign, I think you get so much more flexibility and they do just as good a job at straightening, it, straightening your teeth. So basically, I always say there's more pros and with anything in life if you want something it's always going to be a little bit uncomfortable and you have to work hard for it so it's definitely worth it in my opinion so that's all i have time for today guys and i just want to do a quick video to just give you an update and do a bit of a q a so i can answer some of the questions you guys have been asking me if you have any more questions please leave them in the comments to this video and i really want you guys to know that i personally don't give a shit what anyone else's teeth look like I did this for me because I do a lot of work on screen and my head would always be close up to me. I wasn't doing it for anyone else. This is something I wanted to do because it's something I've wanted to do since I was a kid and I couldn't, didn't get to do it. I think people put way too much pressure on themselves. I think we're all unique in our own way. And you know what? If you've got a bit of a crooked smile, fucking own it. And I think I just had to say that because I think too many people get a bit obsessed with have been perfect and i just think you can never win that race and there's no such thing as perfect so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my invisalign videos or travel videos make sure you hit subscribe and more than anything thanks so much for watching guys